Tonight, there is still no verdict for an ice cream truck driver accused of a double murder. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. News Channel 8 has been following this high-profile case for more than a decade. It started in 2010 when prosecutors say Keatley shot and killed two brothers on Thanksgiving Day. This is the second time this case has gone to trial. The first was declared a mistrial because the jury couldn't reach a verdict. News Channel 8's Justin Checker is at the Hillsborough County Courthouse tonight with more on the story. Justin, so we're going to have to wait through the weekend at least. That's right, Keith and Jen. Good evening to you both. After the state and Michael Keeley's defense attorneys presented their closing arguments, the 12 person jury began deliberating around 4 this afternoon. Tonight, they went home for the weekend without reaching a verdict. Tonight, Michael Keeley's fate is now in the hands of a jury for the second time. He's maintained his innocence while spending more than 12 years in jail since prosecutors say he shot six men on Thanksgiving Day at a home on Ocean Miss Court in Ruskin. Started shooting them one by one by one. Brother Sergio Juan Guitron died. The other four shooting victims survived. The state says Keatley was out for revenge after he had been robbed and shot while driving his ice cream truck. Prosecutors say Keatley was looking for a man who went by the name Creeper, but he ended up shooting several men who were not responsible for the robbery. He was looking for a Creeper. There were a bunch of Hispanic males on that porch, and he wanted to make sure that he got him. He didn't care who he killed on November 25th of 2010. Defense attorney Rick Escobar argued Keatley was physically incapable of pulling the trigger because of his injuries from being shot. Escobar told the jury the victim's testimony identifying Keatley as the shooter was flawed, and he claims the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office mishandled their investigation. This investigation that followed was nothing short of a nightmare itself. This case was made of rumors, filled with errors, mistakes, incompetence, assumptions, contamination, leading to total desperation. So the verdict will decide whether Michael Keatley can go home to his family after all these years or whether he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. Jury deliberations resume on Monday morning. We're live tonight in downtown Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.